Once again, RPOD has released a new floor plan. Forest River's latest RPOD model is the 192, with walkthrough tours beginning to emerge online. In this episode, I'm going to share with you five aspects of this new model that you should be aware of if you're shopping for a new RPOD. Hey everybody, this is John Marucci. Thanks for visiting the On The Road YouTube channel. You know, this channel is all about helping you get the most out of your RV travel experience. Before we get going, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos are published. If you want to dive deeper, we put more content and photos on Instagram and Twitter at John Marucci. So let's go ahead and jump in. So as an overview, this model is based on the 195 and 196, which RPOD recently released, that are longer and larger RPOD models. Some of the things in common include a wider body, non-fiberglass membrane roof with a ladder, a larger six cubic foot Dometic two-way power fridge with separate refrigerator and freezer compartments, a microwave convection oven that's underneath the stovetop, and a vented range hood. So here are five things you need to know about Forest River's newest RPOD 192. Number one, and probably most importantly, is it does not have a slide out, unlike the 195, 196. Now there's serious pluses to not having a slide out. First of all, you have one less potential leak area. Also, it's easier to set up and break camp. So when you're actually having to go break camp, you don't have to deal with the slide, cleaning the top of the slide or anything. It's easier if you have to make extra trips to the dump station. And actually it keeps the overall trailer weight down versus the comparable models with slide outs. So that's approximately 150 pounds less, for example, than the 196. Unlike the other two R-Pod models that don't have slide outs, being the 171 and 172, this model has a small window in the kitchen area, which makes it much more pleasant when working in the kitchen. Now, one of the main minuses of this unit is obviously without a slide out, it does not provide the same interior space. So the second thing to be aware of is it doesn't have a bathroom surround. Now, this is a bit of a mystery. This is different from all the other R-Pods and it's similar to the R-Pods prior to 2017 model year and needs to be watched more closely to prevent water issues. So instead of a plastic surround, this has a wallpaper surround. Now my R-Pod uh, 171 from 2016 was very similar and for some reason R-Pods jump back to not using a surround. Now my conjecture on this is it has a curved roof in the back and they haven't quite gotten it down to get a proper surround, a plastic surround in that area yet. So if you buy one right now, just be aware you have a full bathroom back there, but you don't have a plastic shower surround, which I think is a pretty big mess. Okay, number three is, and this is pretty obvious when you look at the layout, is that it has a Murphy bed instead of a dedicated bed. Now there's a real plus here. It allows you to have a sofa and not waste living space with a bed when it's not needed. Now the minus here, and I think this is a really pretty prominent minus, is the front window is covered when the Murphy bed is up. So think about that with me for a second. Basically this unit has the same front window as the 195 and 196, but unfortunately you can only use that window at night when the Murphy bed is down, when you probably can't use the window anyway and don't want it, you're going to have it covered up for privacy. So I think this is a pretty big miss and I don't quite understand this uh, as far as coming from Forest River and having a window in this unit at all because the time you really want to use it is during the daytime and that time you'll have the Murphy bed up. So go figure. So the fourth thing is that it has a nice dinette area overlooking the campsite and that's similar to the R-Pod 180. Now this is a serious plus in my opinion because the dinette's wider than the 180 and it has a nice view of the campsite with a nice window there. It's 30 inches wide, the dinette versus 24 inches in the R-Pod 180. It also has a nice larger sized window than the R-Pod 180, giving you a nice view of the campsite. Okay, the fifth thing we're gonna look at, it has a single combined black and gray tank outlet. This is very unlike the R-Pod 195 and 196. So much more convenient having a combined black and gray tank outlet. So just think about that when you're going to dump tanks, whether you have my R-Pod 179 or you have an R-Pod 195 or 196, you're always having to move that hose from the black tank once you drain to the gray tank. Now what they've done is they combine those again so you have one area you just hook up the hose and dump both sides and you're good to go. So let's talk about a bonus tip here. There are other options. Now I've said this before when we reviewed the R-Pod 195 last spring. 
I made it clear that there's other options in the same size and length category, and that's certainly true with the 192. So when you're looking at other options, not just outside of Forest River, but also inside of Forest River, the things to remember that are unique to this unit is it doesn't have a slide out, it has a dinette overlooking the campsite, a Murphy bed, a rear bath, is under 22 feet and under 3,500 pounds. So when you kind of qualify those filters, you can find some units that are serious competitors. First is the Forest River Flagstaff E-Pro E19FD. It doesn't have a front window like the R-Pod does, which in my opinion is unneeded. It's got the tub and, by the way, a shower surround. It's got a gas range oven and a microwave, which is nice to have. Countertop extension, one of the things I didn't mention, if you look back at the R-Pod 192 floor plan, the counter is extremely curtailed, and that countertop extension comes in handy. This E-Pro comes in at 28, 29 pounds and 20 feet long, so it's quite a nice option if you're thinking about other things in the Forest River family. Outside the Forest River family, you have the Keystone Bullet Crossfire, uh, 1800 RB. It also doesn't have any front window. It's got a tub, again, with the shower surround. A double basin sink comes in about 3,300 pounds and 21 feet. So this uh, Keystone is also option, a comparable option, the same unit. And as much as I love our pods, you have to think when you're purchasing a new unit to do your homework and think and understand what's outside uh, the specific model that you're looking at. And you can look at RV Trader and filter these and find other units that are comparable. Always smart to do your research and homework before you spend serious money on your next RV. Anyway, there's the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and please share it. Uh, thanks for watching. This is John Marucci and so long for now. It's a great time to think about gift items for the RVer in your life. At John Marucci on the Road, we've created a robust Amazon storefront specific to our pods and RVs to save you time and make the process easy. We've categorized our pod and RV specific items so you can quickly find what you need. Here's some other information about the storefront. The channel receives a small percentage of the price of items purchased or any other item you place in your cart and purchase during the following 24 hour period started from the storefront. This is the easiest way to help support the channel at no additional cost to you. There's no price markup by Amazon for the sales from the storefront. So if this channel's helped you, it'd be great if you would consider supporting the channel in this way. As always, your personal information is kept private. Amazon.com slash shop slash John Marucci. Thank you for considering supporting the channel in this way, and have a great day.